Alright, hey guys, this is all the Angry Nerd, and um, disclaimer for this video. Uh, my last Wolf Among Us video might have fucked up a little bit, but uh, yeah, sorry for that. It's probably because my computer froze on me in that episode, and I didn't take the time to finish it because of school or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy anyways. Alright, hey guys, this is all the Angry Nerd again. Um, I forgot that my Windows Movie Maker has a timer on it, so I'm going to get started now. Okay, so we got, we, we caught Toad in a, in a lie about the, uh, yeah, about the lamp. Uh, now we gotta check out the window thing. Because you can see that, um, there's claw marks in it. Marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night I'd come out. I was a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared you and you're after death. The new uh, Dick and Stevens album yet? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? You wouldn't need the keys. You wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken. So why'd you climb in through the window? Boom! Right there. Why you him? Through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell, just what are you on about? After the state I was in, I didn't have one. me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else, it's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, right? So quit it with a third degree and all it. <sighs> okay, good. Uh, we're doing good here. I actually never once did this completely perfect, and this might be perfect. Okay. Did you cut yourself coming in the window? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh? Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a veil, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. On um, the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Wait. Thought you cut you your dropped hand. it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ruin a slip of events, really. <laughs> oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean... Things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like Thanks, somebody a attacked you. struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Bigby, you are. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was right, looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this 
they sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Sorry. Not yet. No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're Progress? bleeding. Mr. Toad, you're Take bleeding. off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which switch. We can bargain in, screaming about something the woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. Oh, it's been a hot morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know, already been there, was going there, but he said something about it. I would have told you, wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, he thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. We tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. I'd be out here. Ah, uh, here, wait one minute. Gotta go do something real quick. Fucking hell, of course there All is. Right, I'm back again. My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? 
Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. Let me put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Sorry about that, I had to fix my, uh, fix my mom's TV. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Water. Kitchen. to you. Faith. I give this to you. Still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. You should. It might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry to... We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. Don't 
Mir showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp, and there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Do you think that was taken? Before all this. you and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Stay here! No! Alright, now we gotta chase this guy down. That's pretty much how we just gotta like chase this dude through here. I'll show you the right way to chase him. Hey! Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! In, uh, I'll the episode. Then I'll be, uh, episode one. Inside here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? You're covered in blood. Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. 
My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Uh, the fuck? Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm Dean. He's dumb. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Yeah, all right. There we go. This is uh, episode Guess three we're out of, of uh, we got some stuff. We'll see in the next episode. Stay then awesome. that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Uh, we got some stuff, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay awesome.